So this is how the left makes its case. If you say, I don't believe that you should be giving hormone therapies that permanently sterilize kids in some cases. I don't think you should be giving surgeries. I don't think you should be doing any of this stuff to minors without parental permission at the very, very least. And probably at all, because this is in, in 10 years time, in five years time now, it looks barbaric. Then they say that you're killing kids. The data aren't there for this. They aren't. And meanwhile, you know, the, it, it is amazing to watch the infighting inside even the Republican Party over this sort of stuff. So if this is a battle that Republicans are unable to fight or win, then they don't deserve your support. It is that simple. So the Utah's current governor, Spencer Cox, I don't know what's going through his head. Utah's a very conservative state. Spencer Cox is now identifying by his pronouns. He's buying into full-scale transgender ideology in the state of Utah. I mean, th this, is, this is the kind of Republicanism we just don't need. As conservatism, we don't, as conservatives, we don't believe in the idea that biological sex and gender are completely separate and arbitrary, or that there's a third sex, or that you can magically change your gender. And yet you have the Utah governor doing this. We don't need governors who do this sort of stuff. Here's, Utah has plenty of excellent possible governors, and apparently Spencer Cox is not one of them. Here is the governor of Utah. What is the state's plan to fund and pass legislation for more mental health resources, specifically mental health therapists at each school? Well, I uh, thank you so much, uh, Gabby, for that that question. Um, and uh, my preferred pronouns are he, him, and his. Uh, so, so thank you for sharing yours with me. I'm sorry, this is so pathetic. It's so pathetic. And there are some people in the Republican establishment wing who are like, we need to avoid these cultural conflicts. Honest to God, if you won't stand up for kids, if you will not stand up for baseline factual truth like men and women exist, and they are separate parts of the human species because they are, because all mammals are dichotomous in terms of sex. The sexual binary is the reason that evolutionary biology exists among mammals. If you are not willing to stand up for this, you do not belong in government. It is that simple. And all these folks are just intimidated by the media. That's really what it comes down to. And by the way, it, it is incredible. When I say that the left is, is addicted to the ideology, they are addicted to the ideology. According to the Daily Wire, Tim Pierce reporting, President Joe Biden once supported federal legislation banning the sexual education of K through 12 grade students long before he called the similar Florida law applying to K through three grade students hateful. In the summer of 1994, Biden, then a U.S. senator from Delaware, voted in favor of a proposed amendment to the Federal Elementary and Secondary Education Act. The amendment modified the act to block taxpayer money from funding any activity or school material that may promote or encourage sexual activity. None of the funds authorized under this act shall be used to develop materials or programs directed at youth that are designed to directly promote or encourage sexual activity, whether homosexual or heterosexual, according to that amendment. An earlier draft of the amendment explicitly banned the promotion of homosexuality. That amendment said, quote, no local educational agency that receives funds under this act shall implement or carry out a program or activity that has either the purpose or effect of encouraging or supporting homosexuality as a positive lifestyle alternative. The legislation further clarified, quote, a program or activity for purposes of this section includes the distribution of instructional materials, instruction, counseling, or other services on school grounds, or referral of a pupil to an organization that affirms a homosexual lifestyle. And then, of course, Joe Biden has changed his view wildly. And now we're all supposed to mirror that view. Well, the good news is that not all lawmakers are cowards like Spencer Cox over in Utah. Over in Florida, one lawmaker, Randy Fine in Brevard County, tweeted on Monday he will introduce legislation in the next session to make it a crime of felony child abuse to give drugs, hormone therapy, or surgery to minors for gender assignment. And it would be punishable by prison time and loss of medical license. He said, quote, we should not have children making decisions they cannot undo. My bill would not say that if you're a boy and you think you're a girl, you can't have people call you a girl or dress up like a girl or go to mental health counseling to talk about it. It says you have to wait until you are an adult. Fine specifically singled out a plastic surgery doctor in Miami, whom he said advertises her, quote, gender confirmation services on TikTok. He says, I don't think if you're trying to market your services to an adult, I don't know about you, I don't use TikTok, my 14-year-old does. Of course, transgender health advocates, they say this isn't assigning a gender, this is just affirming a gender. But of course it is, re which is more of an assignment? You are born, you have a biological sex, you have not been assigned anything, or a doctor is literally going to carve away parts of your body to make you look more like a member of the opposite sex. Which one sounds more like an assignment to you? it's amazing to, to watch all of the advocates of science just cast science out the window. And again, if Republicans are not going to stand up for kids, do not elect them to office. Do not elect them to high office. The battle for the culture is heating up. We here at The Daily Wire are making some big moves. So be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, because you're not going to want to miss a single moment.